Box 2. Not expecting much. Box 2. <laughs> oh my god, can we get one more? Let's get one more, come on. Box 2. Oh my god, can we... How's it going everyone? My name's Eclipse, welcome to your one-stop shop for anime, gaming, and more. Hope you're doing well. Today I decided to give you the 104 experience. This jet is by far the most painful aircraft to fly in War Thunder. It is a high skill, low reward jet aircraft the only reason why it's at 10.7 is well this 104 has a better engine and a nine piece so sit back relax and enjoy the video all right so we just go went ahead and spawned in uh my tip is if you own one of these things uh carry 30 minutes of fuel 30 minutes of fuel will give you about 20 minutes of flight time on full afterburn and this thing, trust me, it, it needs its afterburn. It cannot survive without its afterburn. Uh, Mr. Draken, what are you doing up here at this BR? You you should not be up here. But I guess you are. Um, anyways. With the 104, the 104 is a very... It's a tricky aircraft. Because as of right now, it's just everyone v. Russia. Uh, I'm actually surprised it's Germany. It's not on their on Russia's team, um, but um, yeah, the 104. It's a very don't get me wrong. In arcade, this thing is an absolute beast fly because your flight model is obviously in all arcade. Your flight model is broken anyways. But this thing turns like a goddamn zero in arcade. Uh, anyone that has very powerful missiles compared to you, yeah, their missiles won't be able to track you. <laughs> Harriers S ramps, I think that's what they are. They they have a hard time tracking you because you can do stupid maneuvers and everything like this. But today's goal is I'm praying that I actually get one kill. Actually, I should probably put on my headphones. But w the way you play this aircraft, you have to play it in a support role. Uh, a lot of times I've seen 104 players just go straight into the battle seeing how much they can pick off and then well dying it's mainly the italian ones that have the flares but that's not how you want to play this aircraft you need to play it like a, a support aircraft but you need to play it as stealthy as possible now most likely here in the minute i'm going to be picked up by phantom because the altitude that this thing needs to be at well phantoms don't like you sitting at this altitude so i'm praying that i'm basically the only guy out here Okay, they got an F5, MiG-27. Oh, MiG-27s and MiG-23s are the bane of this thing's existence. Because if they spot you, they're going to hunt you to the ends of the earth. Those guys, MiG-27s and MiG-23 players, they don't know the word stop and go away. Basically, if they can't catch you, let's say if you come out of diving, if they can't, can't, uh, if they can't catch you, sorry, ran over my words there, they will launch a TV guided missile at you. And just call it a day. And got hit with a bunch of pack of loss there. Thank you, Gaijin. See, around right here, 25,000 feet. It's about a really good, comfortable alt altitude. Okay, that was a cloud. I thought that was smoke. It's, it's a comfortable altitude that this thing wants to be at. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I don't expect much. But I'm going to try to make some magic happen. I recently unlocked the F1. I'm having a blast flying that thing. So having no maneuverability is going to take getting used to again. This thing's actually pretty good at head-ons. Uh, because of the way the Vulcan is. You can kind of... This match is about to be... This match is almost actually... Let's go over here. Uh, 
But this thing's Vulcan and head-ons. You can spray this thing like a shotgun. You're guaranteed to hit something. <laughs> Ooh. Now, be aware. The stat card of the speed is a lie. It cannot reach that speed. No matter how hard you try. It will not reach that speed. It can only go 800 before it spazzes out and wants to rip. So what I'm planning on doing here is sneaking up on this F5 while he's zooming away. Fox 2. It's a good track. Oh, it might not. Yeah, it's not going to track. Oh, never mind. It hit him. Fox 2 again. Missiles are this thing's... Smoke cloud. Can't see because of smoke cloud. And now we run away. Yeah, don't try to turn fight in this thing unless you're very confident in your ability. Do not turn fight in this thing. Like I am about to demonstrate. We're about to go head on with this thing. And that's why 104 players shouldn't use their guns. They can't aim. Now, granted, I couldn't, and that's a TV gutted missile. Yep, that's a TV gutted missile. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm alive. I'm alive. As I heard it fly past me. Big 27 kind of just committed uninstall Gaijin or uninstall War Thunder into the ground. I'm gonna do a little bit of ground pounding as we're getting some lag spikes. Which is always fun. That was actually surprisingly a very good match. I was not expecting to get any kills. I was just expecting to get smacked out the sky. That's not gonna go through, is it? Nope. But yeah, on good days, your total amount of kills that you'll get with this thing is one to two. One to two kills is basically the max for the Japanese 104s, or for the 104s in general. But, that was a good match. Let's go ahead and move on to the next match. So I have a question for all you War Thunder pilots out there. What is your favorite jet in this game? I know some of you guys are going to be like, It's the MiG-27 and the MiG-23s because those things require no skill to use. <laughs> but... Besides those players, what is your favorite aircraft in this game? Mine, personally, is the uh, F-1. I'm really having a lot of fun in this. Uh, I'm, I'm really having a lot of fun in it. It's so maneuverable. You can do so many stupid things in it. And I'm hoping I'll display one of the stupid things that you can do in it up on the screen right now. That's if I don't forgive. But it's so maneuverable. It, it literally floats in the air like a ufo uh, it's really good for head-ons too because you can kind of drift yourself out of the way of phantom bullets and um phantoms guns and f5 guns and mig-21 guns and mig-23 guns because <laughs> half the time mig-23 and phantom players and f5 players and so on and so on they don't expect you to be drifting literally tokyo drifting it across the air to dodge the guns so they kind of panic and they're like, oh, let me do a shotgun effect. Like, ooh, 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 ooh. and now they just end up getting shredded a new one by your guns. And what the advantage of the F1 and T2 guns are, their Vulcan is their Vulcan shoots at a high arc. So you can do some stupid stuff, like some ridiculous stuff. But again, Russia versus America, very surprising. Same plan as before, get as high as we absolutely can without getting spotted, hoping that my team actually does something and doesn't get annihilated at the first sight of a missile. Gotta love War Thunder's spotting system, blinking targets in and out of existence. I'm actually getting picked up by something. All right, I'm going to see if I can make some magic happen. All right. 
And there's another 104. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take out the 104 first, because if he spots me, he's going to be very annoying to shake. Fox 2. All oh, this poor soul, he has no idea. He has no idea. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I love players like that. They're just so oblivious to everything. That dude's probably so mad, too. Now, I don't know where the other 104 went. He kind of poofed off my radar. Oh, there he is. See if we can catch him. Actually, Phantom down here. Box 2 on the Phantom. I'm hoping that hits him. No, it didn't. Oh, it did. Bro, why am I still doing so good in the freaking 104 today? This is unnatural. All right, we got to zoom away now. Or attempt to, at least. Got a beluga whale on my six, and I'm getting locked up by something to the rear. Yep, there it is. And this is where I die. I'm getting locked up. Yep. Come on, 104. Come on, 104. Return this way. Luckily, that's the only the AIM-9B version. That dude can't aim. I'm kind of panicking because I don't know what to do. This one is just, yeah, it's going to hit me. Yep. And uh, that's what happens when all your team just kind of leaves you there to die. I was kind of expecting this. I don't know why they allowed me to live for such a long time. But yeah, unfortunately, back to the hangar we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new match, brand new day. Hopefully teammates are actually competent in themselves and um, see if we can sneak up on people. After this match, this will probably, after this match, next one will be my last, because I got stuff to do. And, um, yeah, we are versing just Russia at this point. Uh, China, they're just going to bring be bringing their modified MiG-21s and all that goody good stuff. Same plan as before, climb up, sneak on oblivious targets and hopefully not end up like Arigato. last time where we just get targeted by the beluga whale that was behind us so yeah oh that's what i call the f8 i think it's f8u i always call it a beluga whale because it looks like a beluga whale a bunch of phantoms you know when you have a bunch of phantoms like this it's a guaranteed win phantoms equal win <laughs> right <laughs> Got a Sukhoi 17 all the way over there. He's going to bomb bases and then probably just go screw off because they always do that. They drop their bomb load out and then they go screw off for about half the match. My RWR, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but my RWR is making like some awesome beats over here. By the way, I uh, this skin right here, uh, it was made by some person off the War Thunder Marketplace, but since I unlocked the uh, low-vis uh, Japanese decals, I decided to go into Photoshop and redesign it. And uh, yeah, looks actually pretty good. I did a pretty good job on it. Even made the uh, low-res uh, squad patch right there. My plan was, is like, maybe if I'm low-res, they can't see me. And there's a MiG-21 heading over here. 
Turn, turn, Phantom, turn. He's gonna launch something at us. Actually, if we can turn in. Is he heading this way? Yeah, he's heading this way. Now, what is he doing? What are you doing? Box two. Not expecting much. Box two. Oh my god, can we get one more? Let's get one more, come on. Box two. Oh my god, can we get one more? Come on, more thunder! No! Oh my god. Dude. Wait, wait. Uh, man, him couldn't pull enough lead. <laughs> and now we run away. Because that's going to be one angry MiG-23. He's probably like, this, this would have four killed all my friends. Time to target him. Oh, he just got ripped into one. <laughs> oh, I got a critical hit off of something. I don't know what. 19 minutes of fuel. We should be able to ke uh, catch this SU-17. Eight hundred. Come on, 104. Oh, he's... Yeah, okay. Cut the engine. We got one aim, nine P. Aww, man. Come on, Phantom. Why'd you have to ruin the day? I could have had one more kill and been a happy 104. Who we got left? Uh, this probably one dude spawn uh, base camping. That was so freaking cool, dude. I've never had that happen where I just take out that many jets that quickly. Sixteen minutes of fuel. Bakata. Let's go after this lone vehicle out here. Drive through the countryside. Whoa, don't roll over. No, it would be helpful, team, if you pop. Actually, do I have any? I think I have an adventure order, don't I? AA, be the best, domination, nope. Thought I had an uh, adventure order so we can go hunt this last guy down. Mach 1.3. No, this is a casual. Almost got smacked by AA. Jesus Christ, that scared me. Yeah, dude, he's not going to take off. He's just going to sit there. Three kills and six ground pound. Not too shabby in the 104, I have to say. See, this is what happens when you actually have a competent team who can cover basically the whole entire sky for you so that way you don't really have to worry about someone sneaking up on you and so forth because as you saw to those migs if you have no cover it kind of just you know it's just over or if you don't have the awareness it's just lights out for you let's go ahead and use the rest of my ammunition on this one aa and then we're gonna go, ah, then we're gonna go ahead and rtb as i trip over my words That's like completely overshoot. We're gonna use our last missile on this Yak 38. Fox 2. That missed, didn't it? Oh well. That's what it is. Just gonna go ahead and RTB. Is this going to be the Great Roland Massacre? Guys, if he's not going to get out from his base, don't try to force him out. He might be a phantom, but 
The Phantom's no match for AI Roland. Those things will snipe you. The one cool thing about the 104 is they have their own custom sound. I really love it. It's free. It sounds so cool, especially when you're just cruising. It sounds so menacing. You know, if you watch some one of my shorts, I did an Ace Combat 7 sounds short, and I was going to put in the 104, but I actually noticed that the Ace Combat 7 104 doesn't sound as good as the, um, as the War Thunder 104, so I decided just to use only the, uh, the Phantom and the MiG-21. Alright, we're gonna cut it down to about 58%. Which we're gonna start slowing down here soon. Oh, fun fact. Uh, even if you're on the runway, Gaijin will uh, rip your flaps still if you're going fast enough. I've had that happen to me where I've literally been on touchdown and War Thunder just decided to rip my flaps off. And so I decided doing barrel rolls down the runway until my pilot kind of shot himself in, his head, in the head with the service pistol. So, yeah, just a quick tip. It was kind of funny, but at the same time, I lost a lot of SL from it. We gotta start slowing down here. At five, I'm gonna need you to get my way. Long dark coming through. <laughs> As my RWR goes crazy because of the friendly Rollins. Uh, fun fact, if you didn't know about the 104's wings, I didn't even know this, but my uh, YouTube friend, I am an Aussie, told me that the 104's leading edge is so sharp, it's basically like a knife. Because of how sharp, because uh, of how, I'm guessing, how thin the wings are. So, at museums, with the one where the 104's or stuff are at, they basically have bumper guards, that way you don't bust your head open on the wing. But I'm going to go ahead and cut this part out because this guy is just going to stay at his base the entire time. And I'll catch you guys in the next match. So, yeah, basically, long story short, it was an SU-17. He never took off until he was the last person left in the battle. And so he just kind of ran the entire time. Uh, I thought I was going to do a last match, but... Uh, one more match but that just killed my entire mood uh and uh yeah anyways guys i really do hope you enjoyed the f-104 experience um and you be the judge of this aircraft is it good can it compete at the br that it's at or does it need to be maybe down tiered uh let me guys know i'd really love to hear your opinions anyways guys it's been your host eclipse and i'll catch you all in the next one take care